We're setting our steamer up today to use. We've got the steamer here, our Werner electric steamer. You're going to want just like a 110 wall outlet. We've got a wall outlet right here that we're going to be plugging this steamer into, so you'll need some electricity. Then we're going to be filling up the steamer right here. You've got a sight glass that you want to fill it not all the way up to the very top, but just below the top of the bottom, top of the sight glass. And we've been using this steamer today, so this is extremely hot. You don't want to touch this with your bare hands because you can burn yourself. But then you're going to want something to be able to pour it into that small hole. A funnel helps you. We've got a like container that is used for like tea and stuff that has a spout on it that makes it a lot easier to pour into the hole. And got our steamer, the hose hooked up and attached with our steamer attachment. And I'm going to be removing this handle right here. It's got a, a push button on it and that push button actually releases the balls. You can't actually pull it off without pushing this button down. So you can use a pair of gloves, a rag or something to grab that. Just going to push it, lift up, nothing will come off. Now you've got your hole exposed that you can pour your water into. A funnel helps this process a lot better if you've got a funnel available. By pouring hot water into the steamer to begin with, it heats up a lot faster. So I'll use as hot as water as you can put in there. And that's going to take about three of these containers. I've got, I put just a little mark on there that says full. That's my own mark that I just want to fill it up to that line. You don't I've got want my steamer it. all full. Just going to put the lid back on, push the button, self drops back down in. Got my plug, going to be plugging into a 110 outlet. It does have a breaker on it. So once you plug this thing in, it has an orange light that tells you that tells you it's got power. So if this breaker trips for some reason because of water getting in the plug or something, this will trip and you'll just have to push the reset button. We're going to plug it in. It's going to start heating up about 15 minutes. If you want to set your steamer handle on something and you'll actually hear it and see the steam come and rising out, then you know your steamer is ready to go. Doing the wallpaper removal, we typically use a Werner Electric wallpaper steamer. You can actually rent them from your local rental yard. They typically rent for about $25 a day. And all they do is just use water and heat up and create steam. They just come with the steamer unit, a hose, and two attachments for pressing up against your wallpaper to create the steam in a large pattern. And on a drop cloth folded up so it doesn't scratch the floor. Sitting here producing steam. Steam's rising. It's making the vinyl layer come loose a lot easier. We're pulling off. So you start off removing your wallpaper and start up from the top of your wall and you're going to just be working your way down. The reason why you want to work from the top to bottom is the steam and the water that comes off your steamer works its way down the wall and it helps loosen the paper below you before you even get to it. So start from the top, work down to the bottom and work in sections that you can reach from the ladder. So you'll climb up from your ladder and as far as you can reach, you'll work your way down that section and work your way all the way down to the bottom. Just hold the steamer with one hand. And we just use a simple putty knife, flat spackle knife, and anywhere from two inches to five inches wide. Different spackle knives work different for different situations. Just pick one that you like the best for the situation you're dealing with. You gotta just let the steamer work, hold it in a section. Just takes 
matter of 30 seconds or so, they begin softening up the paper, softening up the glue, and then you just scoot it over. I like holding the steamer in my left hand and working with my right hand. Just got to have a lot of patience working with this steamer. Just takes time, messy job. The remover has a smaller handle. You can see, and you just add that attachment, which is smaller than the other six inch one. Now you can get into skinny and tight places. You're either be painting or texturing these walls after you're done removing the paper. So you want to make sure you don't leave any paper behind because when you paint it, those pieces of paper that are left behind are going to curl off. So make sure you get all traces of paper off. Get ready to paint it. You're going to need to prime it so any of that glue or residue that's left over doesn't bleed through to your paint. You're working around the toilet bowl if you just, or the toilet itself, if you just remove the bowl, the bowl just comes off with three bolts and turning the water fixture off that supplies the toilet tank. Uh, keep yourself some trash bags handy to pick up all this trash so it doesn't get in your way, make a big mess, get it all